coming in, Cuñado leading his way. Noe Munoz, you Steve mentioned it earlier, have gloves, will travel. Veteran fighter at a Ciudad Juarez, Mexico, will be willing to take on anywhere. Golden Boy uses a lot for the younger fighters, guy making pro debut. Munoz got the call Wednesday. He lives in Juarez, was on weight because he, they told him last time you fought, be ready. He came with no trainer. He's actually using um, Shadi Fulf's trainer. And he's got a tough one as Luis Coria, let me see Tonio Diaz, change shirts quickly. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you, gotta Diaz. Get the, you gotta get the official uh, t-shirt on. Luis Coria, Indio, California, born in Riverside, moved to the Coachella Valley five years ago because he knew Tonio from the amateurs. Let's rinse and repeat, trained by Tonio, managed by Joel, another fighter in that stable. This kid, you thought uh, Padilla sold a lot of tickets? Coria over 500 tickets. Right. And they're so, wearing t-shirts with that, that logo, yeah. that Luis Correa uh, logo on there, and, and it glows in the dark, which is pretty cool. And ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready for four rounds of boxing in the super featherweight division. Cuatro rounds in la división de peso super pluma. Entries into your first divider, standing in the blue corner, wearing red trunks with black trim. His official weight, 129 pounds. Presentando ustedes en la esquina azul, vistiendo calzoncillo rojo con negro, con un peso de 129 libras. Representing, representando Ciudad Juarez, Chihuahua, México. Noé Muñoz. And his opponent across the ring, standing in the red corner, wearing blue trunks with green trim. Official weight, 120 pounds. His opponent peleando en esquina Tecate Roja, vistiendo calzoncillo azul con verde, con un peso de 128 libras, making tonight his pro debut. Also, fighting out of Indio, California, USA, Luis, Luis, Cole. And to give out the final instructions, here is Tony Krebs. Luis, coach. Okay, know your trunks are good. Waist is a little high, punches here and up, okay. Obey my commands, protect yourselves at all times. Touch them up, good luck. Thank you. This is a pro debut for Luis Coria. Four rounds against Noe Munoz. Here's the tail of the tape. Correa at age 18, nine years younger. He is two inches taller and his wingspan is three inches longer. Noe Munoz lives in Ciudad Juarez, Mexico. He's a police officer on the border town. I asked him, why do you keep fighting? He said, because I love it. I just love getting in there and mixing it up. Last time he was in the ring, he was stopped by Francisco Esparza in the first round. Here he is taking on 18-year-old Luis Coria, who should be at a high school football game right now, because Coria is a high school senior at Coachella Valley High School. He missed the last couple of days. On Wednesday, he told his teachers, Hey, um, I'm going to be gone for a couple days. Can I get some homework so I don't miss anything? So I asked him, like, did you tell your teachers you're a fighter? He's like, no, they don't know. Well, here he is, high school senior, got his work done on Wednesday, and rested yesterday, and here he is making his pro debut in front of more than 500 friends and family at a sold-out Fancy Springs Resort and Casino. He looks, like a, he looks like a high school student. Quick scouting report from Joel Diaz. He says he's very aggressive with his, what he says, a devastating left hook. And keep in mind, all three of Munoz's losses have been by knockout. Luis Coria, born in Riverside. At the age of 12, his father was bringing him to Coachella to train with Tonio. Every day, two hour drive from Riverside to Coachella and back and forth. Luis would do his homework in the car. Finally, they, they realized the potential of the young fighter. The dad decided to move the family to Coachella, and the dad still lives, uh, works in Corona, so the dad now makes the drive, two-hour drive every single day. He says, that's what you have to do for your son, for your that's family. sacrifice. Gloria. He has Michoacan on the back of his trunks. His grandfather actually flew in from Michoacan in the southern state of Mexico to see his grandson make his pro debut. Y saludos a todos los que están mirando en Citácuaro. Citácuaro, Michoacán, en la casa de Tío Félix, donde están ahorita. So they're having a big viewing party in the salt town where Coria is from. He visits every single year. And they're at Tío Félix's house watching it. 
Once in the pro debut. And right now in round number one, I'd say he's going through some nerves right now. Seems a little bit over anxious, really trying to sit on that left hook. Just needs to slow the game down just a little bit and let things come to him. Yeah, it does look like he's a little over anxious, particularly with that left sweeping hook, whether, whether he's aiming at the body or head. Looks like he's forcing it just a little bit. With his height and his reach, and I can tell there's some pop there, and I can see he's got a jab. I'd like to see him just work that jab for a little while. Right. Five foot seven is Gordy in the blue. Five five is Munoz in the red. Gordia knows this venue very well. They have that desert showdown, the amateur contest here. 10 seconds to go in the opening round, scheduled for four. Good right hand landed by Gordia. Now they're gonna let it go. I used to be in school and sometimes those kids that get on my nerves and like, you know, I, I, I wanted to do something about it, but I get in trouble. So my dad said, why not go into boxing? You can hit people all you want and you won't get in trouble for it. So my trainers, they put me to spar some of the professionals and they noticed like I could, I could do good with bigger guys. And that's when I was like, you know, I, I think I could, I could do good in professional because, you know, um, they have more experience than I do, and I'm, I'm able to hold my own in there. I'm the type of fighter that I'll come forward and, you know, I'll bring it. Uh, you know, I, I don't really care how much I get hit as long as I'm hurting the opponent, and I show that, you know, I, I can fight. Hurt the opponent and show I can fight. All right, Luis Gordia. He looks like a schoolboy, but he talks like a warrior. Well, let's see if he's learned anything. I thought in round number one, he was over anxious, overshot his left hook over the top. Let's see if he adjusts a little bit and starts bringing that left hook down more towards the shoulder and the body area and just begins to touch Munoz, just to get him to be stabilized just a little bit more. Munoz was actually very crafty there in the first. That jab he's throwing, the one Steve Kim wanted to see. Keep using the hashtag Ring TV. Send us your tweets. There's three more fights coming up after this one. Alexis Rocha, Gennaro Gomez, Michael Perez, and Peter Petrov is the main event. And Munoz is a, a veteran where he's going to elude right. you. He knows what he's up against. But, you know, it's like in baseball. They say the worst way to actually hit a home run is to try to actually hit a home run. Right. And, and that's what I'm seeing right now with Correa. Correa should just work on touching a guy, being fundamentally sound, and let it happen naturally. He's missing an inordinate amount of left hooks to the head of Munoz. And he's got a beautiful jab. Yeah. Works it well. Oh, oh, a left hook drops uh, Munoz. He connected there. He was looking for it. And he found oh. it. <laughs> Munoz is stung. I don't know if he's going to get up, and it is up. over. A one-hitter quitter, That's as Dougie Fisher would say. And Luis Gordia, el muchacho de Citacuaro, Michoacan, Mexico, has knocked out. Noel Munoz in the second round. That was a devastating shot. And he was looking for it. He wanted it from the opening bell of the opening round. He was not going to be satisfied unless he left its ring on a, a knockout produced by that left hook. Yeah, I, I think he would have been disappointed if he knocked him out with his right hand. We'll have to see the replay, but I think he kind of threw a throwaway right hand to get into position with the left hook around the corner. Uh, looking at that final sequence, Doug, he, again, very early, but he has a blend of speed and power and the ability to kick with that left hook. He does. He's also just got nice fundamentals. Yeah. He's got balance. And like I said, when he worked the jab, technically speaking, it was textbook. The only time he looked sloppy is when he was loading up with that left hook. Joel Diaz said in his scouting report that this young man, Louis Correa, has a devastating left hook. There is still truth in advertising, Doug. He's got something else. He's got popularity and charisma. Yeah. Yeah. There's something about him where these fans want to put on a t-shirt with his name logo on there and come out and support him. This is his pro debut, and he's already sold 500 tickets. That's going to grow fight by fight. That's a very good thing. And if you keep knocking people out like that, yes. you're going to grow and grow yeah. even more. That was a devastating left. We will eventually show you that replay as our, rep our announcer, Pablo Flores, is ready to go.
18-year-old Luis Coria. ¿Qué dicen, tío Feli? I don't think Pablo can be able to get hurt. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the official time of one minute and 20 seconds in round number two. Tenemos el tiempo de un minuto 20 segundos en el segundo round. Declaring your winner by the way of knockout. Su ganador por la vía del knockout. With his first victory from Indio, California, USA. Luis Louis Coria. Luis Coria, the 18 year old. Here comes the big Indio. shot, the end of the night. Yep. And there it is. What he did, Doug, he actually. Fell short on fell, purpose yeah, with the right. Right, kind of a throwaway right hand, and that left hook, honestly, power like that, I've said that many times, it's God-given, not man-made. Four fights in the books. Win for Bassi Samir, Jonathan Navarro, Javier Padilla, and Luis Coria. Three more fights to go. We'll be back at 7 o'clock Pacific time. Alexis Rocha, Colbert Kozoya, Renato Gomez, Vernon Austin, and then the main event, Michael Perez, Peter Petrov. 7 o'clock Pacific time for Steve Kim and Doug Fisher, Bethel Duran. Saying we'll talk to you soon from India on Ring TV. A great, great autograph signed glove right now, ladies and gentlemen. If India Fantasy Print Casino, you wanted a Samir Khan, Danny Garcia. Danny Garcia signed glove. I got it right here, right now. Who wants this autograph signed glove right now?